Well, very uh, people are really trying to digest what happened. This all began, uh, reports of this began when neighbors of this military base outside Valencia, the third biggest city in Venezuela, overnight they were reporting a heavy gunfire, a movement of a tank, and a series of explosions inside the, this military base, which is the headquarters for the 41st Battalion of the Venezuelan Army, a tank regiment. Now, according to the government, uh, this was an attack from outside. They say that terrorists were trying to get into that uh, military base and they were repelled. Uh, one person, according to the government, killed. But other sources, and include those residents, say no, this was in fact a military uprising against President Maduro. That uh, theory, somewhat supported by the release at the same time of a video which uh, was circulating on social media by a man, a, a, a retired army captain, uh, who says this is the beginning of an uprising against President Maduro. Now, uh, as we enter the afternoon here in Venezuela, uh, the Venezuelan gov government says things are under control. The commander of the Venezuelan army went to the base and he had this to say. We have been the object of a paramilitary terrorist attack, mercenaries against peace. But they have found us as one fist, like an oak, united for the country, that is how they found us. And the scoundrels, once again, was defeated. Remember that the country wants to be at peace. Stephen, should this be characterized as a coup attempt? Well, there's still a lot of speculation, Wang, at the moment uh, here in Venezuela. Some people are suggesting that perhaps this is even a stunt set up by the government. They're recording uh, what happened here in June when a helicopter overflew Caracas. Uh, by, it was stolen by a policeman. It uh, dropped a few grenades on the Supreme Court. And then that man has never been seen since. But I think the sort of um, consensus here is this probably was a rebellion uh, within the within the army. The, you've got to remember this is the country that's in the middle of a very, very steep recession that is affecting people in the army as much as anyone else. And uh, also, it's a, we're in the middle of a very heightened political situation with repeated calls from a part of the population saying that Maduro is breaking the constitution. And there are people in the army who agree with that. So yes, it does look like some sort of rebellion.